Good morning, you guys, from the Potager Garden. I thought today would be a great day to bring you around the garden, show you what's blooming, and share what's been happening in this bed. It's been a little while since I've been uh, sharing a video, and that's because I've just been really, really busy in the gardens, but uh, I needed to show these beds to you guys because they look so amazing. So it's been a little while since we've been down here, and look at the changes. I mean, it seems like just yesterday these beds were just finished, but now they are blooming. This side of the garden here is full of flowers. I do have cucumbers, some lettuce that's bolting over there, arugula and stuff. I've got potatoes and some celery, uh, some marigolds in this bed, and everything is just doing really wonderfully. I do have, I'm gonna pan slowly, a bed over here with some herbs. I let my dill and cilantro go to seed. Uh, my, my snap peas are almost done. We have been picking them like several times a day. It's been amazing. Uh, my basil's doing really well. We've already harvested some jalapenos over here. Tomatoes are doing amazing. They're really starting to fill in. I just came out and pruned them to kind of aerate the plant and open it up and hopefully get a better harvest. Um, so that's doing really well. On the other side over here, I've got some onions and some more celery. My um, sweet peas did really well. I've been cutting them all season long. My zinnias are starting to bloom. Uh, I've got some sage over here. This used to be a basketball court. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, we took the hoop down and I think we're gonna get these bolts out and eventually put like maybe a small statue or something here. Um, but anyway, I've got some borage, some more cucumbers, uh, let's see, what else do I have here? I have some eggplant that's not doing well. I am not a fan of growing eggplant. I always have problems with it. They always get a pest. I've not been successful with it yet, and I think I just don't even want to bother anymore. But I digress. Uh, borage, doing really well. I've got it in a few places in the garden. Some zinnias over there. See the sweet peas? Oh, they, they smell amazing too, and you got to keep cutting them because the more you cut, the more flowers you'll get. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had some lavender on the table out here and it just wasn't doing well. So I planted them in the ground just to just to keep them going. My at last roses that I planted from Proven Winners, they are doing so great. Oh my gosh. If you are looking for a really easy care rose, take a look at these. The color's beautiful. They're easy care and uh, you don't even need to deadhead them and they smell amazing. So here's some of the borage. I, I just started a bunch from seed and so I just started putting them in anywhere at, at one point because I wasn't sure what to do with them. If you've never grown borage before, the foliage is a little spiky. I've got a problem with Japanese beetles right now. The foliage is a little bit spiky so um, critters really aren't going to bother it. Aside from the Japanese beetles that is. Uh, but. <laughs> But anyway, um, they are really, really pretty. This is my first year growing them and I really love those blue flowers. Aren't they so pretty? I've got some Cosmos growing in here, some Calendula and uh, down there is, is the uh, front pond garden. But let's stay in the Potager today just because there's so much to show you guys. So again, I put some more borage over here. I've got some oregano and some straw flowers, which are actually all in this bed over here. Oh my gosh, look at it. So I did put the borage in one of my raised beds and next year I probably won't do that. I do love the look, but since critters aren't really gonna be a problem so much for them, I'm just gonna do them in the ground next year. I've also got some straw flowers. They're closed right now, but they'll open as the day goes on. Also new to the garden is that beautiful fountain. I saw it a couple weeks ago and had to have it for this garden because when my husband was designing the beds and their shape, we both talked about putting some sort of fountain there and it really finishes off the look, doesn't it? So anyway, ugh, look. I'm gonna have to shake these off and get them in water. Ugh, they're so nasty. Anyway, 
some beautiful zinnias. I've got a couple of different varieties in here. I know I've got like a queen lime and I might have, uh, I think I have a uh, Zinderella peach. So pretty. It's just really, really coming along. And then over in this big U-shaped bed, I have a ton of dahlias. I think I planted 24 in total. I'll put a list of all the plants that I'm growing because I, I have a list. There's just so many different ones. Uh, I'll put them all in the description just so you can see. But I actually planted the dahlias a little early this year for my growing zone. I technically shouldn't be putting them in the ground until like around Mother's Day here. But this year, because we had a really mild winter and uh, we weren't in danger of having a frost, I decided to plant them early and I was ready to cover them if I needed to. Well, wow, 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 they're all blooming. And they actually started blooming like late June, which is crazy to me, right? But they're all doing really well. Um, I had a few that, you know, I had to pull, I had to pull one because it looked like it might be having an issue and I didn't want to risk ruining the rest of the bed. So I, I pulled it just as a precaution. But other than that, everything came up beautifully. I have no idea what these red ones are. I did not order red Dahlia tubers. So I couldn't tell you what variety these are. Um, I, I'm at a loss. <laughs> I planted them and they're not what I ordered. So, um, so there's that. Pollinators, loving, loving, loving this garden. So fun to see them. Um, and then over in this bed over here, actually I'll come over on this side just because it's a prettier angle, but I've got some Larkspur that I started using the winter sewing method, some Snapdragons. I why, am, why is the name escaping me right now? I'll have to put that one in the description. Calendula Ivory Princess, Costa Apricot Snapdragons. I love these. These were the first to bloom. They look so pretty in arrangements. Um, oh, I think it's Butterfly Bronze with White. I don't know, but I love the flowers on those. Aren't they so pretty? So anyway, the garden is really coming along. We love it out here. I do have an outdoor dining table that we hang out at. And overall, so thrilled with how this garden is growing and filling in. And, um, you know, I just wanted to kind of get out here and show you guys how it all looked before I came out and cut all these flowers. Because you know, the cut flower garden, the more you cut, the more they grow. So I gotta get out here and do some cutting, but so thrilled with where we are today here and I will have to get you guys down there in the front pond garden because that has changed so much in the last year as well. So I know a few of you guys are going to ask what the little clay pots are for on the little green garden stakes. Well they actually serve three purposes. So number one uh, it's so I can see the stakes when I'm working and I don't poke an eye out because you know if you're like leaning in here and you're weeding or you're cutting flowers you really want to make sure you can see those. Um, actually that one broke off <laughs> so I need to get a replacement. As a matter of fact I actually ordered some some toppers too because I don't want like a million pots in the garden. But anyway so that's number one. Number two is uh, if you put like a little bit of newspaper, like crumple up some newspaper and put it in the pot and then flip it over and sit it on the garden stake, you can collect earwigs, which sounds kind of gross, but they put holes in your leaves uh, and to protect the foliage in a very organic way, if you uh, put a little bit of newspaper in the pots and you collect them daily, you can help protect your plants. Uh, number three, they look kind of cute, don't they? I kind of, I love the look. I think they're very pretty. And so I like to add them in the garden. It looked a little strange when the plants really weren't all that filled in, but now I love it.
And that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me in the garden today. Enjoy a beautiful day.